Salty is a dockside diesel who loves the sea, the smell of fish, and telling sea stories. One day, Thomas the Tank Engine was sent to deliver trucks from his junk into the dumps. As he pulled in, he saw Salty and Gordon. Salty was waiting for Thomas's trucks. And Gordon was resting in a siding. Gordon was waiting for his next express that left from the dock. Yar, hello, Thomas. It seems we're all waiting. While we wait, why don't I tell you a story? A story about the ghost ship. Ghost ship, huh, said Gordon. What nonsense. Salty ignored Gordon's insult and begun. For your 14 hours, a cargo ship was sailing to make its way into port with a special delivery. When the sea became rough and the ship lost its way, Indians and Indians was at the pole waiting for the cargo ship. When it crashed into port, onto the engine and knocked it over, and the ship sunk to the bottom of the sea, never seeing the surface again. It's coming, asked Thomas, horrified. If it's a foggy night, and during the day you see something strange in the water, and you see a moving ship in the fog, that is how you know that the ship is coming. There is no such thing as a ghost ship. Besides, if there was one, it wouldn't scare me the lightest, not even a tiny bit. Everyone is afraid of something, Gordon, chuckled Thomas. Gordon said nothing. And Thomas's trucks were soon unloaded, and he went back to his junction. And Salty went to go shunt some trucks into place. Later, as Salty was still shunting, Sir Topham Hack came to see him. Salty, Golden has a special expression to talk tonight. I need you to shunt the coaches into place for him. Yes, my guy. Oh, sir, a cargo ship is coming tonight. I want you to make sure that it arrives on time. But be careful, as it's going to be a very foggy night tonight. Uh, y yes, my king, said Salty. Salty became very worried. As Sir Topham had left, Salty began to wonder if the story was true. Yes, it's very worrisome. Or maybe it could be a coincidence, said his driver. But Salty wasn't sure. Later, as Salty was shunting some trucks near Cranky and Crane, he cried out. The water looks a little odd, don't you think? Salty looked at the water. It was a little different. Not usual. Oh no, can't go shape it's safe. Foggy night, the shame becoming old. It's all coming true. What are you talking about? asked Cranky in disbelievement. The ghost ship, that's what I'm talking about. If this is another one of your stories, I don't want to hear it. So Salty said nothing and worried for the rest of the day. At last, night came, and everywhere was covered in a thick black fog. Salty was shunting the express coaches for Gordon, but because of the fog, the train was delayed, and Gordon had to wait at the station, one to go. <sighs> Was it the one engine like me went in the fog? I can handle the fog without any trouble at all. Ah, quit your whining, matey, said Salty. I'm worried enough as it is. So very upset about this ghost, you huh? Suddenly, Gordon saw something in the fog. It was shining a light. It looked like an old machine, and it was rocking in the sea, and it was moving towards him. Oh, Ah! He cried terribly. Ah! Ah! And he raced away without the coaches. He ran out of sight. Salty wondered why he was running. And then Salty saw it. And he was horrified. It's the ghost ship. Please stop. He cried as the ship came closer and closer. 
suddenly a voice appeared in the fog. What? Don't come any closer. Suddenly Salty saw that the ship had stopped. A man came out on the deck and spoke to him. What are you talking about? We're not the ghost ship. We're here to deliver the cargo. Thank goodness we were able to see you in the fog and was able to control the ship. Salty saw that there was cargo on the ship. He was very relieved. Meanwhile, Gordon had raced back to the shed. And another engine had to come and made the train later than it already was. The passengers were angry. When Gordon heard all about what had happened, he was very embarrassed. Gordon was teased by Thomas and Salty at the docks. Gordon, was it you who said that you wouldn't be afraid of a ghost ship? You must have been when you delayed an express, even later when you got scared just by a cargo ship. Our look, Gordon, there's a ghost ship. Don't forget your express this time. Gordon, very embarrassed, just ignored Thomas and Salty while they laughed and laughed and thought 